Hey, I'm photographer David Bergman. I'm a Canon Explorer of Light and I'm giving you an inside look into my camera bag. Now I'm a commercial photographer and a photo educator, and I've covered news and sports events around the world for nearly 30 years now. But most recently, I've worked primarily on the road as the tour photographer for bands like Bon Jovi and country superstar Luke Combs. Now I shoot concerts just like I shoot sports action, so that means I bring a lot of gear with me, usually five bodies and five lenses, plus a flash or two. I'm gonna break it down and explain what each piece is there for. Now my kit is mostly based around Canon 1 Series bodies. Those are a workhorse. They're reliable, they're built to last, and can easily take the beating that I put them through night after night. The two cameras I carry throughout the show are the EOS 1DX Mark III and the EOS 1DX Mark II. Now you might be asking, why not just use two Mark III's? Simple reason, I only own one of them right now. It actually, that body came out right before we stopped touring and I was only able to get my hands on one at the time. I'll probably have at least two or three ready for the next tour, don't you worry about it. Now, the lenses I use on those bodies are the EF 24-105 F4L ISUSM and the EF 100-400 F4.5 to 5.6L IS2 USM. Now, the reason to carry two bodies and two lenses is so I can switch quickly from wide angle to long telephoto without literally missing a beat. Trying to change lenses in a dark, fast-moving situation is a recipe for disaster. I use a cross-body camera strap to easily balance the two bodies, and that allows me to switch super fast whenever I want to. Now, in the old days, I would use all 2.8 lenses. By the way, old days, I mean of 10 years ago. Um, I would use only 2.8 lenses, usually the 24-70 and the 70-200. The reason you do that is so you can get a faster shutter speed to freeze the action while also getting the highest quality and keeping your ISO low. But with these cameras today, I can crank my ISO to levels I never thought possible. I routinely shoot at 12,800 on the Mark III, and the quality is just so good. So now that means I can shoot with the 24 to 105 at f4 and the 100 to 400 at 5.6 and have no problem getting very fast shutter speeds at that high ISO. It is a game changer, kind of cliche to say that, but it really is a game changer to have that kind of focal range in lenses that I can carry over my shoulders. Now, when I said that I shoot concerts like I shoot sports, I really wasn't kidding. Something I brought over from the sports, sports world is the use of remote cameras. Very common in sports, not that common other, in other places, including concerts. But by setting up unmanned cameras that I can trigger remotely whenever I want to, that allows me to be in multiple places at once. I can kind of clone myself. And because I work for the artists, I have the access to put those cameras almost anywhere I want and can get unique angles that no one else can. Now, one thing I do at almost every show is put a camera on the drum riser or up in the drum kit itself. That way, I can always take pictures from the stage looking out at the crowd, no matter where I happen to be in the venue at that moment. Now, for that drum remote, I use an additional EOS 1DX Mark II or Mark III and usually attach the EF 16-35mm F4L ISUSM lens. Wide angle is nice for that shot because I can show what it looks like to stand on stage in front of a sold out arena or a stadium full of people. Now sometimes I'll put another remote up in the lighting trusses over the top of the stage. Now since I travel with the crew on the tour buses, I can attach a camera early in the morning when they're just starting to set it up. Now it's a bit of a guessing game because once that truss flies up in the air, I can't access that camera to make any adjustments. Thankfully I've got years of experience and that helps me to get it right most of the time. <laughs> now, since I want to keep that rig as lightweight as possible, I usually put the EOS 5D Mark IV up there for that overhead, uh, usually with the EF 2470mm f2.8 L2 USM lens. Now, if you ever try to do that yourself, put a camera in a, in a sort of risky, dangerous place like that, don't forget to attach a safety cable. No picture is worth the camera falling and possibly hitting someone. So I said in the beginning I travel with five cameras and five lenses, but that's only four if you've been counting. On my most recent tour, my fifth camera was the EOS R full frame mirrorless with the RF 28-70 F2L USM lens. Now I brought that camera and lens on tour to use exclusively as my backstage camera. Since I can shoot in silent mode, I can linger around backstage and in the artist dressing rooms and take pictures without the shutter sound causing any distractions while they're writing a set list or getting ready for the show. Also, I absolutely love that 28 to 70. Not only is it incredibly sharp, but since it's an F2 lens, it's kind of like carrying three or four prime lenses in one. I've got a 28, a 35, a 50, and a 70 millimeter 
all at f2, which is amazing in low light for backstage and gives me a beautifully shallow depth of field. So those are the lenses and bodies I travel with for a concert tour. I also bring one or two Speedlight 600 EXRT flashes for meet and greets or for crowd shots. I also bring the Speedlight Transmitter STE3RT. The ease of shooting wireless off-camera flash means that I'm ready if I'm ever asked to do a quickie portrait or a headshot of any of our band or crew on the road if they need it. So that's the gear I used on my last tour. I'm really loving the new mirrorless bodies, the R5 and the R6, and we'll probably have a couple of those in my camera bag next time I hit the road. I'm pretty excited about that. So thanks so much for watching. Do me a favor, you like this. If you like this, hit the like button below and subscribe to the Canon USA YouTube channel. There's so much great stuff coming out from my friends at Canon. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you here next time.